Hip hop on the grind with Override. The man who controls the hype. You are definitely listening to Massive Metro with the time now at exactly 33 minutes past the hour of um, 8 p.m. This is Hip Hop on the Grizzly Grind. My name is The Overwrite, the man who controls the hype. I'm going to go Massive Metro. I'm rolling with Biggs Mo as well as Contraband and Fundo, man, uh, you know, in the background and all that. So now, on the line, as promised, man, we're going to be chilling. Well, we are chilling with um, DJ Zandy. Um, basically, everybody knows who DJ Zandy is, man. He needs no introduction. And um, yeah, he's got some Something interesting for us, man. So now, Mr. DJ Zandi, how are you doing, sir? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good, my brother. How are you? Thank you for having me, guys. Hey, man, I'm blessed, man. It's really good to. It's actually really good to actually hear. So, so basically, are you are you doing your show right now? Uh, not not just yet. I just finished one show just now, actually. Okay, no, no, diggity dub, man. Yeah. So, so now, can I just get uh, yeah, get straight into it, now? Um, so now, as a DJ, now, like, how long have you actually yeah. been um doing this thing? Oh, <laughs> um, the reason why I'm laughing is always a tricky question for me mm. um, because I started very young, you know. Mm. If if you think Ark Junior, um, I was around those, that age when when I sort of sort of like started. You know? mm. But I got paid my first paying gig was when I was 18. Mm. That was 1998. Damn. So okay. So, so you. Say, so wait. You were 18 in 98. Yeah. Damn. Oh yeah, because I actually yeah. saw. Yeah, because I I, I I was doing some stalking there, and and I saw you post something um on Facebook. I think earlier this week, where now you're yeah. saying that it's actually like a bloodline thing, you know. So someone actually like yeah. like your whole family is actually within the music space, in that regard. Actually, I've got I've got um two older brothers, and both of them have been teachers before. Hmm. And yeah, the other one did DJ Chalk, and the other one obviously never pursued it like that, you know. Hmm, hmm. So even my dad was a DJ because he owned sound systems, and he used to rent out sound systems for like parties, hmm. DJ contests, and um, events. And then eventually, he owned a nightclub, which was called the Chief's Place in Fosloha. So hmm. that's where everything comes from. Oh snap! So now, like, what what made you actually like? fall in love with hip hop because now like everyone knows you as a hip hop DJ We're like uh, what yeah. made you like fall for hip hop um you know what it, it's actually quite a funny story because when I started I was obviously very young mm. so my brother would take me to all these events and uh, would connect the sound system because back in the days DJs would play like 6 to 6 you know mm. So I would get there early with him at the party and then uh, we'll connect the sound system and make sure that everything plays properly. Mm. And then he'll tell me to start playing slow jams, R&B and, uh, and some hip hop while he goes to go maybe change and have a shower or whatsoever. Mm. So that's when I started playing properly, you know, because mm. then I'll start the parties. And mm. every time, because he's the sort of like the headliner, mm. he'll come when he start, the, the party's starting to be hot. And then he'll start playing the house and 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 the quietos and everything else. So that's when I started playing the hip hop and mm. you know uh, because when I was introduced to this DJing thing, I only played that sound. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah. Oh, okay, now it's it's really dope, man. So now, like, um, what I've heard from the streets now in terms of like um your style of um playing and all that now, um, people are saying that like you have a crazy ability to like control the crowd when um playing your music. So now, um, is that something that you learn over time, or is it something that you like pre-plan? Like, okay, so now this song is actually gonna make the crowd do this, that, and the third. Or do you is it or is it something that you have to like read the crowd first before you actually play certain songs or do you have a, uh, a set you know ready beforehand oh yeah it's um uh, there's a few things it goes with experience firstly mm. and then secondly it goes with um um you, you know obviously as you practice your craft you get to learn more about what you do you know mm. so i would say dj that you it's very important to practice um so how i would control the crowd is Mm. I would look at what type of crowd there is, mm. and mm. from 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 the from looking at them and testing with a couple of songs, with experience, you already know what crowd you have, you know. Mm. Mm. So, mm. like, I mean, I can't play the same set for Ama Two Thousand um, to to people who are born in like the eighties and nineties. Mm. You know mm. 
Yeah, so you need to know your crowds like that. And then sometimes similar songs will make all of them dance. Mm, but mm. you find that someone from the hood doesn't like too much trap mm. compared to someone that's partying at the north. Mm, mm. You understand? So that goes with experience also. And then you, start, you find people that party at the north that are from the hood who mm. love trap. Mm, so mm. it's very important to know exactly what you're doing. And then you put the skill there, which is where you need the practice to actually make sure that you de- deliver a nice, perfect product for for. Well, people that are there for you are like your clients, you know, for the clients, if I may call them that. Mm. So now, um, as a DJ, now, like it's basically like your job to like look out for like um, what's new and what's popping in the like you know really? industry exactly. and all this stuff. So now, could you comment on like the state of the culture versus industry and like are we in the same? In, are we like in a safe place based on like the music that you're hearing firsthand? Oh, um, you know what? Um, Hip hop has been struggling in SA for some time. Mm. Um, it, it actually took a slump when so many people started releasing trap music and mm. started going and sounding too much like um, Americans, you know? Mm. And it was only when um, you, you had people like Ricky Rick, Dr. Pepper, Blackie, mm. um, that, that we had hope again, mm. which was last year. And that's because those guys, they used um, some of our South African lingo and mm. some of our South African sounds like piano elements and things like that mm. to bring it back home, you know? Mm. And obviously not forgetting to mention um, Skanda World, people like K.O., Ma'i, yeah. The Egg, you know? <coughs> Excuse me, man. So they kind of brought it back. Mm. <clears throat> they brought it back home. Mm. And they gave us hope again, you know? And towards the end of last year, we found a lot of artists tapping on that um, new age quieto sound again mm. but now the difference now they they, they 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 instead of making it quieto they take piano elements and zonkonko vibes zonkonko vibes mm. 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 Bad, you know and then you also found find um the other sound which they call it trap piano so yeah. like your phantom C's major um oh major snap C's. yeah mm. and those homies cost a teach you mm. know all those homies are coming through with the trap but that's also got piano sounds, but it sounds trappy. Hmm. You see, and but now bringing it home, they took the piano element and added that onto trap, and that's when hip hop sort of like came back. Hmm. That's why when 2022 started, everybody was so excited to say this is the year for hip hop. You hmm. know, hip hop is coming back this year. Hmm. So all the music that I've been getting lately is everybody just trying to bring hip hop back, bro, and it's hmm. sounding really nice. Hmm. No, that's really dope, man. And like, as a as a um a DJ, né, like, how important is it to evolve um from just playing music to being like a DJ Zandy presents, and then and then yeah. like yeah, like how, how important is it in this day and age? Because now I don't really see that much of it, um, Van Dach. Yes, yes, it's a it's a big problem because we're supposed to be seeing a lot of that. You mm. know? Um, the the problem is um DJs have become really really comfortable you know mm. and um th- that's why you see so many djs playing the same songs so mm. many so many djs sounding the same um it's because djs have become lazy mm. before a dj will make sure that he is different from everyone else mm. by the music he plays the remixes he plays mm. the exclusive music he plays mm. the style he mixes mm. um and and things like that you know mm. and then we took it further um, around 2013, 14, 15, where DJs started releasing music. Mm. And the reason we decided to release music as DJs is because we wanted to add on to party music, you know? Mm. It's more mm. adding on to the dance floor. We realized that, okay, artists are releasing music, it's all popping and everything. But we have that head, upper head of mixing artists that would normally want to mix. Mm. Like getting someone from Scandal World and mixing him up with someone from, uh, it was Cash Time back in the day, mm. and mixing someone from Cash Time with someone from um, uh, Cap City Records, for example, you know? Mm. Normally those guys wouldn't really mix. So the DJs had that hand to be able to pick those guys and put them on one song mm. and make a party record. Mm. But now lately, DJs would release songs, but they just release slow songs. They like release the song that will be like number 11 in the album, you know? Mm. <laughs> 
<laughs> Unlike before, when everybody just wanted to drop the hardest songs, songs that will go crazy at the club parties or events, you know? Hmm. Because, I mean, we are DJs, but we're not rappers. Yeah, so it's very important for DJs man, to remember that they are there um, to push the culture forward, you know? Mm. So push the culture forward, the best way to do it is to contribute positively. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And now, like, speaking of your positive contribution, can we talk about your EP, Four Shots? What's it all about? As well as the okay. single that you sent us, yeah, to meet Ladi, Lenny Banks, and, and Must Be Dubs. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, um, um, I've Early this year, I went back into studio. I decided, you know what? I've got so many songs that were not complete. Mm. Um, um, I would like to release as much music as I can this year. So I went back into the studio. I started working with a whole lot of artists. Mm. And um, so I came out with an idea of releasing um, a couple of EPs throughout mm. the year. So the first one was Four Shots, which mm. means four, short, uh, four songs. Mm. And um, I was started. I decided to start the four shots, uh, the, the the first series of, I mean, first release of the series with artists that are not so popular. Mm. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. So basically, um, it was firstly a way of myself trying to um, launch um, people in onto the game. Yes, sir. Um, u- using the platforms that I have and the connects that I have yes, sir. and just to see if the game is going to receive them well you know because people are always talking about opening opening up the industry yes, let's sir. see if we open up the industry is the industry and the, and the consumer going to receive them well you know mm, mm. so that's the point of this this EP and I obviously worked with um, Timmy Cladi Must Be Dubs who you know Must Be Dubs for he, you know he's, he's produced probably 80% of the biggest songs that are out right now you know Word. And then, and then I, I put on some of my homies that I've known for some time, um, like um, 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 uh, EQ, um, um, Zulu Gakulu, and um, uh, Lenny Banks. Yes, so the EP, like I said, Ayla is about um, putting out party music as a DJ just to contribute to the dance floor. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, now no diggity dub, man. And uh, yo, what are your last words? Um, where can we find you? Um, what are you doing tomorrow and Saturday? Like, this is an online platform, so you can like, yeah, promote your show and yeah. all that. All right, nice. Um, yes, man. I have uh, I have a hip hop show. Um, it's called Three Way on YFM every Thursday from nine PM till midnight. Yes, sir. And then I have a DJ mix show, which airs on Saturday from eight PM till midnight, where. I launch DJs who are not really known, who are not really big. I mm. give them a platform to DJ, I mean, to battle, um, um, to battle on, on air, you know? Mm-hmm. And then, yeah, man, it's like a DJ battle on, on radio. Yeah. And then apart Stop. from that, I'm also, um, all, all those shows are all, all on YFM. Mm. And then apart from that, um, this weekend, on Friday, I'm going to be out at Propaganda. Uh, obviously pushing the new music, pushing what my releases and, and playing a hot set for Lady Zoo's Do, birthday. Yes, and then later on I'm gonna be moving to Moloko and then on Saturday I'm at Pretoria Botanical Gardens and then on Sunday I'm at a place called Extreme Lounge, I think in Deep Blue. Yeah. And I'll be in Bedford View. But yeah man, for most of my gear for, for all my gigs actually, in future people can catch me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. Yes, I'm even on TikTok. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. The handle is all the same. It's DJ ZAND. DJ ZAND. Nah, man. I hope you guys are listening and you guys know what hip hop on the grind actually means. You know what I'm saying? This man is hip hop and he's definitely on the grind, man. Now, now, what is boom, man? Like, yeah, I'm about to play the jam and, um, yeah, man, thanks for the interview, King. And we're going to chat as well, Thank man, you. about them battles as well, bro. We got rappers too. Yeah. <laughs> I really appreciate you, man. I really appreciate you. I really appreciate the platform. I really appreciate what you are doing for hip hop. Uh, let's keep the love, man, all the way up. Where is boom, sir? Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this is your girl Mosey. And you're tuned into Massive Metro.